Good morning and welcome to our worship for this uh, second Sunday in Lent uh, from Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Peterborough, New Hampshire. I'm Pastor David Mueller. We're doing a uh, virtual service today since uh, uh, a portion of our family was uh, exposed to someone who tested positive with COVID-19. So uh, we pray God's blessing on our time together in worship and uh, God bless your participation together here. Our first hymn from Lutheran Service Book, uh, hymn 437, Alas, and Did My Savior Bleed. Mm, alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I. Was it for crimes that I had done, he groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. Well might the sun in darkness hide and shut his glories in when God the mighty maker died for his own creature's sin. Thus might I hide my blushing face while his dear cross appears, dissolve my heart in thankfulness and melt mine eyes to tears. But drops of grief can ne'er repay the debt of love I owe. Here, Lord, I give myself away, tis all that I can do. Our order of worship begins on page 184, uh, Divine Service Setting 3 in Lutheran Service Book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said I will confess my transgression unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. O Almighty God, merciful Father, I, I a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities with which I have ever offended you and justly deserved your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them and sincerely repent of them. And I pray you of your boundless mercy and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of your beloved son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this your confession, I, by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our intro today, portion of Psalm 115, the opening, opening and closing antiphon, from Psalm 25. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for, for they, they have, have been, been from, from of old. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He, he is, is their, their help and their shield. shield. The Lord has remembered us. He will bless us. He, he will, will bless, bless the house of Israel. Israel. He, will he will bless, bless the house of Aaron. Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both, both the, the small and, and the great. great. We will bless the Lord from, from this time forth and forevermore. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they, for they have, have been, been from, from of old. old. We sing the Kyrie, page 186. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Page 189, we continue with the salutation. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, you see that of ourselves we have no strength. By your mighty power, defend us from all adversities that may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts that may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading this day from Genesis chapter 17. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless, that I may make my covenant between me and you, and may multiply you greatly. Then Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, Behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make you into nations, and kings shall come from you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. Continuing at verse 15, And God said to Abraham, As for Sarai your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her, and moreover, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall become nations. Kings of peoples shall come from her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The epistle reading from Romans chapter 5. Paul writes, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. More than that, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the 8th chapter. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Beginning at Mark 8, verse 27. And Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they told him, John the Baptist, and others say, Elijah, and others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Christ. And he strictly charged them to tell no one about him. 
And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he said this plainly. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and seeing his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. And he called to him the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? For what can a man give in return for his life? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Thee, O Christ.